Hello and welcome back to the Republic of Vinland. Yes, in their previous episode, uh, that also did quite well, I will say, um, we became a republic. And now we are the Republic of Vinland. Uh, specifically, our republic is called a Vinlandic Althing, a reformed Vinlandic Althing, uh, which is kind of cool, giving us a little bit of settler chance, etc. So, the plan today is going to be to continue doing some missions. I would like to secure the coast, which means I need one more province on the coast, which I'm thinking is going to be Petkutkuik. I pronounced that perfectly, don't worry about it. And also, we could get contact with Europe, and I'm going to try and work on that real quick, uh, because if I split off three of my galleys here, uh, not galleys, sorry, trade ships, what we are going to be able to do is go into our decisions and give the Borgman the New World Charter doodad, which is going to give me an explorer. If I pop that explorer on this here set of ships, we can go and explore the North Atlantic Sea, which is hopefully going to give us vision on Greenland, Iceland, uh, maybe the coast of Ireland. I'm not sure how far that goes, um, but that should be really good, and we'll be able to finish the mission for contacting Europe. Meanwhile, I'm just waiting for my uh, spy network to complete on uh, Malisite, and we will go to war with him and expand our country. Unfortunately, I did just get the uh, the spy network up to 20, but he's he's migrated away from the coastline. I, I feel like I should probably wait until he migrates back next to it. Um... Unfortunately, the only other options I have are just going to be to colonize. So, actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let us go and grab our first expansion idea, giving us an extra colonist. And, you know, maybe we just get the uh, next assimilation idea as well, which is going to give us plus one monthly splendor and plus one yearly prestige. Very nice. And with our extra colonist, I think the best place for us to colonize might be here. 11 development coastline gives us access to another sea tile from which we can attack Wampanoag and Pequot. That seems like a phenomenally good idea. I will need to garrison it with at least one troop. But that's not a problem. Uh, you know what? Uh, I... I take that back. Well, I, I'm, I'm still going to do this, uh, but he's just cut, he's just moved. He just migrated to the coast. Let's get him. Uh, Tumor Cantalism for 2.5 Settler Chance. Or just plus one Mercantilism. Colony Cost Modifier, that's actually kind of good, because Colonies cost... As soon as this one arrives, it's going to cost me another two ducats a month, which I actually can't afford right now. Maybe I do just get the Mercant... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to accept their help. Screw it. And we're going to get a claim on you. And I'm going to attack you. Who else am I at war with? These guys. Okay, maybe I can also take Peacot in this war. Should not be a... Uh, should not be a difficult one. I bring you back at a quite exciting time. Other than the fact that I've got quite a lot of natives against me, we have a couple of things that I want to do. Firstly, let's enact a government reform. We have unlocked tier four. Uh, so you've got your standard things, maintain balance of power, all estates being happier is quite nice. Expanding the temple rights gives me uh, more taxes and it's just good. Uh, curtailing the privileges, the admin tech cost, or we have this new one, embedded Norse traditions. Letting me raid coastlines. Also, winning wars increases legitimacy uh, in Republican tradition, which is, like, amazing. So, yeah, 100%. 100%. Embedded Norse traditions is phenomenal. Uh, and, yeah, our money issue is is no longer an issue. Like, we, we, can, we can pay crap off. Uh, mission fulfilled as well. Secure the coastline. I finished one of my colonies. I can't remember which one, but... 
As our influence grows, we need to secure the life sayer to, uh, also does so. Wait, our, sorry, our need to secure the life sayer also does so. With our new fleet and colonial capabilities, we should set up colonies across the coastline of the region to secure our interests. So I get central trade upgrade cost for 20 years. Uh, from the ashes gets extended once more and I get the event Fort Eric. The city of life's has become our bustling heart, the very center of the soul of our people. Despite its booming population and impressive infrastructure, however, it's still largely undefended. Reports of ships spotted in the east have frightened the city authorities, so much so that they've begun the construction of a series of fortifications, including a great sea wall, collectively known as Fort Eric. They hoped that these defences will protect the city and Vinland as a whole from outside threats, be they from Skralings or Europeans. Uh, so I get a fort building upgraded. If no building is present, I get a fort building. And three manpower, which is quite nice. Uh, and also hostile free fleet attrition in Fort Eric. Uh, that's actually really nice. That's very, very nice indeed. Beautiful. Also, contact with Europe. I need to have discovered Europe. And they need to either have an opinion of me that is high or a spy network. Let's have a look at what we see in Europe. So, of course, Icelandic Greenland, it's kind of normal. Uh, maybe we could make them friendly. The fact that we're at war doesn't help, but, you know, whatever. Uh, then we have a look down here. Norway has invaded Britain. Celtica didn't get wrecked by Nordanvik. It got wrecked by Norway itself. Uh, because Nordanvik fell under a personal union of Norway, which is kind of funny. I've not seen that before. Uh, Saxony is going strong, which they should do because Saxony is now an end node. Um, Gaul looks gaul although they've gone a little bit into Swaby. Uh, Swaby look, you know, fat and strong and normal. Um... Yeah, that's all we can see right now, but it looks kind of interesting. Lagerlund here? Excuse me? They were kicked out of uh, of the Netherlands, and now Lagerlund exists up in, like, southern Norway. Pretty sure Norway used to own this. Uh, but yeah, no, that's very, very interesting. So I need to have one of these people like me, or I need to have a spy network on them. I think as they can't see me, spy networks are kind of easy to build. So I'm going to... Hmm. They need to have discovered me, though. And right now they have not discovered me. Any known country has been... Yeah. Oh. Has been discovered by Vinland. Well, I've discovered a bunch of them. Maybe I do just need to have the spy network. Let's try just to get the spy network. And if it doesn't work, I'll try and improve relations with Norway, potentially. Okay, the war is over. Conquest of that place. I also managed to get myself uh, Wampanoag right in the south. Let's core those up. And we will continue working on getting our spy network up on Iceland. Uh, we also have our colonists here having a look down the American coast. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. I don't see any Europeans, which is fantastic news. Uh, so we are safe for now, though we did earlier spot the uh, Swaby. So I don't know about them. We'll have to wait and see and hope that they don't show up. We have done it. We have made contact with Europe. For a long time, our connections with Europe has been severed. With our survival no longer quite so uncertain, we have the resources to mount an expedition to find out what happened back in our long lost homeland. So I'll get innovativeness, I will get some Diplo Rep trade range and improve relations with Europe. And maybe we can move on to um, be allied with somebody over in Europe. Somebody with 20 provinces, so potentially that's going to be Norway. So one thing that was brought up in the previous video's comments, um, and by the way, if you leave comments, that really does help me out quite a bit. I know I say that now pretty much every video, but yeah, YouTube forces me into these things, so I'm sorry. Anyway, something that was brought up in the previous uh, video was uh, talking about trade changes, and as we've just now unlocked our extra merchant from expansion ideas, let us take a look at the trade workup in the new world. So, uh, we are called the Gulf of Finnegan. Not sure why, 
frozen sea up here. Um, this is now called the Sunset Coast. There's Appalachia here, the Bay of Arcot. Caribbean's the same. Uh, Mexico, this has changed. Um, it looks to me like most of the trade nodes are the same, except Caribbean now owns none of Florida. And I believe there was a... Um, coming up from the... Whatever this river's called, I forget. Where Louisiana... Mississippi, that's it. Um, I believe this used to be a trade node. So there has been some changes uh, in the south of the Americas. Or I guess the Central American area. But for where we are, there's not all that much. Maybe like a province here or there. I don't know the Americas enough to really say. But... For me, there's not much relevant change, right? Um, we are still all in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, which is now no longer called that, of course. And we're pulling away from uh, colonial Eastern America. Um, so, for us, that's fine. Uh, and I think probably what I want to do is just collect... Oh, it's my third merchant. Uh, maybe we'll start pulling from Caribbean and maybe send down a, a colonist or two. I do notice that the um, Swabies have started colonizing the Caribbean, and I don't want them to get the likes of Achaia, because there's a, an amazing monument here. Uh, and I I kind of want it all, really. That's kind of kind of my point. Yeah, let's, let's start pulling from the Caribbean. Seems like the most reasonable plan here. So, unfortunately, Norway has this awful modifier, distance between borders, which means they don't want to ally me at all. That sucks. Uh, Iceland, however, is a bit closer. Uh, so we can ally Iceland. I don't think this is going to be enough for the mission, uh, because they only have apparently four provinces on the continent of Europe. Uh, I guess Greenland isn't counted. Uh, wait, it must count. Wait, <laughs> Iceland is only two provinces. Uh, okay. That's not, it's not going to work then, is it? We're going to need... We're going to need a little bit of hop, skip, and a jump here. Uh, how do I work this out? How do I how do I work this out? There's no place for me to colonize over here. I don't know how to make Norway want to be my friend. Unless they colonize something and then I befriend them instead of, like, kicking them out. Uh... Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. But I guess it's something we keep on working on. Meanwhile, of course, we have other missions to look into and complete. So, first of all, we need to integrate an Skraling culture. Now, at the moment, Micmac is our largest, and it's seven development. So, let's see, what are my Micmac provinces? Micmac is... okay, I have this. I need to either develop this particular province to um, 20 or find a new way. I'm not sure I want to develop this to 20. Uh, what else have we got going on here? If I... Oh, it's really not good, is it? I could start conquering people again. Like Abenaki, I, I have some Abenaki here. So if I conquer you as well... Um, Maliseet, there's probably more. Oh, you're also Abenaki. What about you? You're Peko. There, you're both the same culture. We could kill both of you. Um, I think maybe we try and get a bit more Abenaki through conquest. So, let's start off eventually when my guy returns. I'm going to start building a Spine Eric back on Penobscot. And you are also Abenaki, correct? No, you're Massachusetts. I thought we had another Ab Abenaki. Yeah, you. Literally, the uh, the place of Abenaki. Wait a minute. Didn't it? Didn't the mission say 150 relations? No, it didn't. Never mind. Yeah, Abenaki. I'm going to start building some Eric and hope that you migrate next to me. So at least then we have three provinces instead of one with that culture, and we can accept Abenaki. Finished off another idea. We get institution embracement cost and spread, which means we have the Skraling Wars. 
I have tried to get along well with the natives of Vinland. The Skraelings, as we call them, not all are receptive of, to our presence. Though they often outnumber us and know their lands far better than we do. Throughout our wars with them, our cavalry has always sealed victory. Also, I forgot to read this one out. With a little bit of their, with little but their ships, weapons, and the clothes on their backs, the first arrivals to Vinland placed great importance in the songs of their ancestors. These songs made up the bedrock of our nation and give foster our national spirit like few other. And give foster. Okay, that... It, I always come across like little spelling errors, grammar errors in mods. It's nothing new, but yeah, that there we go. So yeah, I think we need to just continue conquering and colonizing. So the Abenaki have been kind enough to call, uh, march their way on to a coastline. However, we of course don't have any way to get a claim on them, even though we do have the points. However, all we need to do is just wait a little bit, and Manhattan is now got zero people here no 20 people here and that's perfectly enough to that and now we're going to go and conquer them they have friends in pico that's nice we're gonna get another colony there and malacit so we're gonna get another one there that's gonna be fantastic we're like one province here away from connecting all the way up so uh yeah more more conquest of the natives it seems like seems like that's what we're doing or, or I would be if I'd actually checked that we didn't have a truce with them. Uh, we don't have a truce with Penobscot, though. Penobscot, we're totally going to conquer in, like, a month. That, damn it. Who are you allied with? These don't help me. They don't help me at all. They're Mohican and Iroquois. Damn it. I also built more ships because I got annoyed of having, you know, not enough to transport the entire fleet. Or the entire army. So, we have finished another little bit of conquest, and I had an idea. The Mohawk here. They have claims on Oneida because of this perma stuff, right? What if we make Mohawk a vassal of ours? Because we can't conquer it right now. No, no, can't make it a core. Maybe if we actually... Let me just see if we could do this first. If I colonize this... Will you then allow me to make it an core and take the land? Hmm. Okay, this is my plan. We take this land and all of their money. Then we, of course, take this land as well because, of course. And then we release the province or the conquest or the, the whatever of Mohawk. He ends up with only a single province, which sucks, but we can work around it. Does he have his claims? No. That's unfortunate. Uh, how about we say that we want him to uh, claim all of this stuff? And I'm going to try and grow this guy. Because they're all Iroquois culture. Maybe I just get him to get all of that culture himself. That seems like... A thing we should probably try and do. Having a vassal would be good at this point. Plus, I don't need to core as much, which would be nice. Uh, Epicomi, I can only core after Manhattan is finished. But it's going 126 a year. It's, it's not slow at all. Um, and I guess what we could do is, like, trap Penobscot in the north here. That'd be funny. Um... I'm going to actually colonize here, because we do have a, another mission. Follow the river. I need six provinces in this area. And uh, if I can colonize this, maybe stop Static Corner from coming back up here. That might be a good idea. Uh, let's go kill our rebels as well. What glorious timing. I come over here to attack the uh, province of Onyutaka. And as I get here, they have federated completely. Uh, so now we can get Mohawk to annex all of this land. Um, while they're all disorganized, I don't see a problem with this. Staticona can come help me. Uh, give me back this guy. And we will march in. Purely for the benefit of the natives that we have here, of course. I don't like being corrupt. I don't like that you're running away from me. What 
We have to kill them all. Oh, that's that's not even difficult to kill them all. Fair enough. So, your job, Staticona, is going to be to siege this. That That's your job. Hopefully you can uh, do that without issue. And we can get this done. Alright, my son came in and he wanted to be on the video, so... so <laughs> you want to say hi? Hi. It, the camera's over there. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> uh, bye. Okay, bye-bye. This was not an easy war. Uh, the enemy kept getting a bunch of uh, condottieri from basically everywhere because that's just what the natives do. Um, but I think we're basically one now. Uh, Mahican, I can't do anything with them. I can't take their land. So what I'm going to do is just take their trade and their money. That's fine. That is counted as a win. And then when all of these are finished uh, occupying, we should be at 100%. Or not. I think it's 100% enough. Uh, uh, probably because they're occupying me. But that's fine. What I'm going to do is have all of this land go to my vassal with money and apparently war reps. Right, because this is down here as well. I don't, I don't care. There, enough. Done. Let's go. Mohawk now big and we kill lot. Lots and lots of them. So, now we have a big old vassal. We're still colonizing here, it's almost done. Uh, let's colonize here. No, we can't. We can colonize here though. Let's see what I need to do for the mission itself. Uh, this works. So does this. So does this. So let's go with... Let's go with this. Six development. Um, also, during the war, I took another mission. I took uh, another uh, expansion idea, sorry. Uh, giving me encouraged homesteading. Our initial landing site is to a small to support our growing population. Let's encourage the settlement of new lands and the creation of new towns and cities. Longhouses and mead halls will spread across our newly settled lands and prosperity will follow in their wake. Construction cost and global settler increase. So now we're getting 165 a year. Don't know if that's already updated. It has, okay. Uh, it's, that's, a, that's a whole lot of settlers. It's a, it's, a, it's a sweet amount. But yeah, now we have a fat or Iroquois vassal. So as soon as he's annexed all of this land and it's been 10 years, I'm going to annex him and then Iroquois will be what we end up accepting. Uh, also, I, I dev pushed Piktuk. Um, so it's now 38 development and I'm going to embrace colonialism for another plus 25 global settler increase. Delightful. Things are looking up, although I still can't ally Norway. Did he even take uh, colonial ideas? No. Did Norvanvik? No. I don't know how I'm going to do that mission. The conquest of the natives continues, and we're currently in a subjugation war against Picot because of a uh, mission that I got. Uh, or an agenda, I should say. Uh, so we're going to vassalize Picot and maybe feed him the land around him. Uh, maybe he'll colonize, who knows. Uh, but I also have another government reform. So, of course, you got your standard stuff here. We got sustained disciplines, always nice for the attrition law uh, reduction. Uh, I quite also like the organized military staff for the reinforced speed, the supply limit, reinforced cost. But we, of course, have a couple of fresh ones purely because we are Norse. We have Expand Huskal Recruitment, uh, which if I didn't have Huskals already, it would allow me to get them. Uh, plus 50% Huskal Infantry as well is amazing. The lifespan's cool, I guess, but I don't really care about that or the loyalty. It's really all about the Huskals, because like I've shown it before, Huskals are kind of cracked. They're really, really good. Uh, currently we have six of them, uh, but if I can increase that, I mean, I would not be opposed to it. The other option is Longboat Focus, which reduces my naval maintenance modifier and allows me to build longboat ships, which I believe are either trade ships with transport or transports with trade. I, I think that's what I'm 
remembering. Or they might just be galleys with extra galley combat ability. I actually think it's that one. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. We're, obviously we're going Huskals. Let's get my number from six to nine. And I will build them all instantly because they are really, really good. And I want all of them. Um, and you know what? Let me just have another three ships as well. Because I would like to transport everyone at the same time. It's very useful. Another mission complete. We have been following this river quite nicely. The mighty river that flows through the lands of Karnata is a vital vein of trade and network that extends from deep inland all the way to Leifsbethia. It's important that we control it so that we can better protect our cargo traveling along it. That's just a fact, actually. Uh, so I get for 20 years trade steering, merchant trade power, and permanent claims on... Uh, all of this? Okay, I no longer need this tra uh, spy network. I, I no longer need that. I think we're good at this point. So now I need to have 25 provinces in the North Sunset, South Sunset area. And I need to have 10 provinces in... Uh, ooh, is that up there? I don't really like that. Does that also count this? No. I have to go up here and conquer stuff. Uh, but okay. I also have this. It reformed the Leifsbjuda. So I need a courthouse, town hall, and no corruption. Can I even build courthouses yet? I cannot. I need uh, admin tech 8, which is soon. Okay, we'll get on that. Now, Pico is my vassal, and you know what? I only want one vassal at a time, so let us start annexing Mohawk. I don't want them around anymore. Uh, and here I can grab myself uh, Strong Duchies and Yaldum Integration Policy. So, we will hopefully... Pico, I'm improving relations with you, or I will do in a moment. So as soon as these guys are integrated, we'll be able to accept their culture and finish another mission. Glory of things have occurred. So first of all, uh, if we have a look at our country right now, basically everything other than this is connected, but for this province here. But we're connecting it, so our name should move to be beautiful. And now my name is also covering Maliseet and Penobscot, so that means that that's a, that's a name covering CB. That's right there. I mean, it's, it's just what it is. Uh, and also, I can now take Tech 8. I will do that now, which means I need to go over and build when I have the money in a month time. I can build the courthouse in Leifsbethir, and we will be able to grab ourselves a uh, another mission. Uh, also, we can get your Nasker inventory. Fantastic. And now Mohawk has accepted annexation. Which means, firstly, uh, my name's gone back over here. Uh, not a big fan of that, but maybe we can colonize something to uh, s squidge it back together. We can also upgrade our government rank to kingdom. And if we add all of these lands to a state, I believe, firstly we need to add more seats to the thing. And can we accept them? Why not? Well, I don't have enough Diplo points, that might be why. Yes, I just need I just need more Diplo points, so we'll speed along until I get the Diplo points. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of those guys, I don't need them. Uh, do you have any high dev provinces? Seven? Yeah. Whatever, You're, you can join. I require an culture. Iroquois, accepted. Mission complete. In the past, we've had our differences with the Skraelings. The time has come to put aside our petty conflicts and open our arms to these new brothers. So I gain 100 Diplo points and cultural unity, giving me manpower and accepted culture. Very nice. Now, finally, I need to legislate to the land, which means I need an Althing consensus of 60 and 5 uh, of those. Homesteading Act, reform the administration. All right, I'm going to need to have a look into this. I believe that is these laws. So I need my Althing consensus to come up, which means my average autonomy and corruption need to go down. Stability needs to go up. My Republican tradition needs to go up. 
That's going to take a long time because that goes up really slowly. God damn. And I need to get that up five times to 80 to do a laws and then get it back up to 60. I mean, that's going to be difficult. We may not be able to legislate the land, but we can reform the Lefs Biuda. So I got my corruption down. I have a courthouse. When he first established our colony, Leif Eriksson set out a set of laws and recommendations known as the Leif's Uh, is it Biotha? That's a thorn, isn't it? Leif's Biotha. Maybe. I don't know. These rules dictated how life was to go in the colony, and regulated production quotas and time off for those working in the timber industry. Ever since the colony failed, the codex has fallen out of use. The time has come to once again reissue it, this time in an updated form, and ensure the efficiency and fairness of all labour in Vinland. So I get 50 gov reform progress and automatically discover adjacent when colonies built and establish colonial frontiers! What? What? What the fuck? Colonial frontiers. Do I need a monthly tick? Establishing colonial frontiers in America is so busted. It's so busted. Oh my god. Fuck yes. Let's go. We filling this out. We filling it out. It is totally worth the dip. It is 100% worth the dip. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they would give me this. This is crazy. Oh, we filling that out. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then we get the Sunset Coast done because I've now got 25 provinces there. The great strip of land that lies beneath, uh, below our wintry realm is known as the Sunset Coast, as it was the first new land sighted by Europeans on their long journey west, following the path of the sun. It contains many valuable goods and land, and hence it would be wise for us to stake our claim here before the European powers carve it up for themselves. Facts, though. So, Twin Prestige, uh, which is going to be Monarch Points. Um, trade power and goods produced until the end of the game in my capital? God damn. Goods produced on 15 fish. I mean, I am the uh, production leader on fish. But, like, how do I have the bonus for it? No, but I have the bonus for fur, for the prestige, and tobacco for the foreign spy detection. Where are we at with fish? Uh, we're at 7%. So we have the most, but not enough to get the bonus. Also, Kaweta is, uh, is leading production on that but I don't know how. I guess I just steal all their trade. Either way, uh, I think we should focus dip because we're going to be using um, this button a lot. Because, oh boy, it's so powerful in the Americas. We only have it for 100 years, so we just got to make use of it, you know? Look at all of these colonies above me. Uh, they're... Every month or so, I'm getting an extra colony self-sustaining, which just feels so fun. Um, at the moment, what I'm doing, of course, other than killing more natives, is trying to get a uh, land connection up here, because I did not know or realize that you need to have a land route back to your capital in order to use your uh, your Siberian frontiers. Which, I mean, it makes sense, uh, absolutely. I should have known that, but I have not played Russia in a long, long time. Uh, so that's, you know, that's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm, I'm conquering up here. Huron also I conquered. And now with Algonquin taken, I should be able to Siberian frontier my way although not here oh I accidentally sent a proper colonist no thank you which means I can now sapir and frontier all over the shop and look at the size of my name oh it's god it's it's beautiful it's gorgeous clearly this is the way the game was meant to be played Probably. But either way, I'm obviously going to 
conquer Chesapeake, and then I'll be able to Siberian Frontier a bunch of places around it. Um, this this is a an exceptionally powerful modifier. I don't think. I honestly don't think it should have been given. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, Siberian Frontiers are cracked. That's annoying that they're up there. And yeah, just almost every month now I'm getting uh, a notification saying that, yo, we got more uh, more Siberian Frontiers finished. It's great. And we got to go and deal with our rebellion problem. But yeah, the name grows. I, I have Vasilis Staticona. Malasite will die soon enough. Um, Vinland is going to be exceptionally big. And I've also started colonizing... Uh, down in the Caribbean now. Uh, let's go and grab Havana. Um, the the Swaby don't really like it, but they don't really know that much about me, I don't think. Oh, well, they know of me, but I've rivaled them. They haven't rivaled me. Um, and we'll just work on uh, potentially uh, ruining their day. Norway has integrated Nordanvik. That's interesting. Still can't ally them. Distance between borders is still a little bit too much. So, I don't know how... I'm, I still don't know how I'm going to do that. But it won't be in this episode anyway, because I am out of time right now. So if you have any ideas on how I can ally myself to Nordanvik, uh, please do let me know in the comment section. Also, just let me know what your thoughts are on the campaign, on this incredible modifier that we've been given. Um, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. So... Leave them down below. I will see you in the next one, where we will continue being a little bit crazy with our uh, colonial frontiers, wherever they are here. Till 1624. Crazy stuff. Love it. Bye-bye.